give me sus. Did you? Did you? Are you watching? Oh my god. Lopsided. Lopsided. There you are. Hi, this is Yale and Matt. And this is Recap Stuff. And we're here to do that. A week later. So we Still are. Still watching Halloween movies. This is a little bit of a bonus. You know, we're, we're not done. We told you we're, we're going to watch the original versions of some movies and that we talked about over the past month. Maybe you missed the other episodes that we already did about the newer ones. So you might have watched the last. So what we did, we went back in time to the moment before we watched the new one. Yeah. We watched the first one, the original one, because he watched it before. Yeah. And I never watched it, so we couldn't put it in the recap month. Because the rules were we were watching movies for the first time. For both of us. Yeah. So we couldn't add it to our list, but... Now there are no rules. No rules! No, but we watched it during that month, because somehow we also found more time to do that. And we we're about to go watch the, the new one right after that, and that's going to be our last Halloween recap. We're talking about the movie Halloween. Yeah. I don't, we haven't said oh, that yeah. yet. People oh are like, God. what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The movie Halloween, John Carpenter's classic from 1979. Thought to be one of the greatest horror films of all time. And it is. Yeah. It's so much fun to watch it. And, and we threw out the rule book. I mean, we, didn't, well, yeah. we, didn't, we didn't take notes for the... Maybe that's why I had so much fun to watch it. Yeah, because we actually experienced movies yeah, like regular people. we watched people. the movie. We maybe, didn't miss moments. Maybe we should do that <laughs> from now on. But, um, yeah, really, when you're analyzing st stuff, just taking notes... Yeah, but... It takes you out of it a bit. I have to say something about that. Okay, say As a something. comedian, since I started to do comedy 13 years ago, I was always trying to analyze stuff because I might get a joke out of it. So now I'm yeah, a little lazier, sure. but when I was younger, like a few years ago, I used to go with a notebook and write everything that's happening to me. So I used to analyze my life. Yeah. And... Now I barely do, uh, I barely do that, and that's why my show is still like build of <laughs> the same jokes a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, this movie is great. It's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, we did the thing where we watched it in two parts because we uh, started last night started at, at two like a.m. One in the morning or one. something. Uh, not a long movie. It takes place in, in pretty quick succession, mostly over the course of Halloween, 1979? Yeah, 1979. It starts off with a little 1963 excerpt of Halloween night in the town of Haddonfield, Illinois, where there's, a, you know, teenage couples getting sexy. Those are a big-time target for for movie murderers, and uh, so there's a couple on the couch, they go upstairs, and we're seeing this through the eyes of, uh, of a child. This is all a point of view. Yeah, but we don't know that it's a child till they reveal that it's a child. I was surprised, I was like, what? You, you see a child's arm. Yeah, but it was, it was kind of a weird thing. I was like, is that a child's arm? Like, how did that happen? Because I was sure that it's a grown-up. I was like, it's wearing, wearing like a clown Halloween costume. Uh, I don't remember. I mean, I feel like w when I watched Halloween the first time, I had already been aware of Michael Myers, who is the the main bad guy or the, the killer of the film, because I, you know, this came out in 1979. There was a ton of sequels to this. Have you watched the sequels? I, I, I feel like I've seen part of some of the movies because uh, there used to be a lot more horror movies on television, on basic cable, and that's all we had besides video stores. Um, I don't remember renting any uh, as a kid. Horror movies were kind of like... Uh, I mean, sometimes they would legitimately like, make me uncomfortable. I wouldn't want to watch them, and... Especially when dogs died in them. Oh too, my god! Which happens. They have to in, in stop doing that! It's killing me. It's not situation. horror, it's like sad. I don't like that. There was one dog I'm allergic body. to dogs, dogs dying. So. Yeah, I'm like, I prefer to watch like people dying. Oh. Oh, good! Oh my god! Yeah. 
He just threw the napkin, the toilet in a paper inside mug. of the coffee. Yeah. Swish. I'm sure that you didn't plan. It was the layup. What do you mean I didn't plan it? You did it. I aimed and then got You didn't it. aim. You're All just right. like. Whatever. People can't see my sweet napkin in a coffee cup. I feel bad. Shot. I feel bad that we didn't film that. Yeah. It was more interesting. Than okay. <laughs> no, Listen. Okay. Horror what? movies as a kid. I, I remember. Here's how I got into horror movies. It kind of all dates back to the Fresh Prince song, Nightmare on My Street, which is a cameo. The song is where Freddy Krueger invades his life and uh, kills DJ Jazzy Jeff. And uh, it's a good song. Look it up on YouTube. Or go to your local record store and buy the 12-inch single of it if they have it. There's an older kid that I used to, I used to spend the summers... Uh, traveling up to Maine, my grandparents lived there. My uh, family had a small trailer. As a kid that lived across the street, he was about four or five years older than me. He was really into horror movies and rock and roll, and later rap music. So I heard that, and he explained horror to movie me. Horror and rock and roll. Like... Yeah, they go. They kind of go hand in hand. Right. Not in this movie, because this movie, Halloween, is just this ominous score produced by the and performed by the director of the movie, John Carpenter, who's done some pretty sweet scores over the years, but this is a classic. And um, so he would tell me about all these different horror movies, so it was essentially a game of telephone. He was telling me about this, you know, I remember vividly the big ones like Chucky and Jason, Freddy Krueger. I don't remember him talking much about Michael Myers, but I, you can't ignore the the face that you see on video store covers. And he would tell me about this movie called Chopping Mall. So have you ever heard of Chopping Mall before? It sounds like I heard that name before. I don't know where and when and why. Well, what do you I think? I don't know that I watched what it. What do you though. think the movie Chopping Mall is about? Mall? Yeah. Uh, you think the movie is just a mall? <laughs> it's just scenes no, from like, a mall? No, like, probably like brats going to the mall and they all get killed. Yeah. By who? Michael Myers. By Michael Myers. Yeah, Michael Myers also co-starred in Chopping Mall. Yeah. Because I don't know. By um, Shimpans. Shimpans? Yeah. What is Shimpans? Shimpanza. Shimpanza. Okay, are you just inventing... A monkey. A monkey? Shimpans. Okay. Shimpans. Chimpanzee. Shimpanzee. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw my favorite English one. Can you say that again? Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. So yeah, a lot of brats go to a shopping mall and get killed by a monkey. No, but there, there, there was a, a horror movie called Monkey Shines about a, a guy a guy in a wheelchair that has an assistant monkey in Japanese. that kills people. Alright, you're laughing way too hard. <laughs> it might connect... I was, I was trying to say correct pronunciation of a word, and I said connect, but... Uh, because it's a chimpanzee. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. Chimpanzee. <laughs> Ch 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 Chopping Mall is a movie about a mall that kills people. <laughs> Their security starts killing people. I've never actually seen it. I've seen the cover a few times. But I would, I would hear him tell me about these horror movies, be afraid to watch them myself. I mean, I also couldn't rent them. I was probably 11 at the time. Whatever. Okay, I was what's wh the problem? I was whatever grade you are in the let second you pick grade. Your own movies? They would look if, if it's rated R. Really? Yeah. <gasps> really? Oh my they god. I'm sorry. Me. I'm sorry. So, you know what else they didn't do? Have sex in the same <laughs> movie. So, uh, At least they let me watch whatever I want. <sighs> yeah, well. So they're, uh, they're like, well, she's already seen all the sex there is to see, so we might as well see killing people. So, they, uh, <laughs> oh my God. anyway, I, I remember telling a, a my story. My parents never had sex with me when I was a baby. They never had sex with you while you were a baby. Congratulations. <laughs> with me in the room. Okay. Like, uh, or with themselves. Wow. With me in okay. The, oh, my I God. I never said that they had sex with you, but um, if you want to tell me something <laughs> off air, we could do that. Uh, I can't wait to you oh, ask Jesus. my mom. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Mom, have you ever had sex with me in the room? Oh my god. Don't, you and Dad? Don't phrase it like that. Don't say, have you ever had sex with me in the room? 
<laughs> the chimpanzee okay. was involved. That sentence needs to be diagrammed and re. re <laughs> that's gonna. Right. That's gonna be. Are we gonna recap? Alan met or Alan met recap. Childhood traumas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Sex god. Where do we even go from here? <laughs> So I just remember you bring us there every time. I would. I wrote a story once about my imagination of the movie *Child's Play*, and based on what I heard about it and how I thought things happened, and I remember a teacher being like, "This is plagiarism," and I was like, "But I didn't see the movie. This is just basically she was cut." And I didn't probably didn't even know what plagiarism is, but she's like, what plagiarism? plagiarism is writing, passing off someone else's work as yours. Mm. So I wrote a story oh, like a spilling. about <laughs> child's play, like as if, I mean, I, it was the characters from the movie. Uh, someone gets killed with a hammer. I knew that. So I wrote about that. And what I wrote was different than what happened in the movie, which I did not see until about maybe a year or two later. But, uh... I don't know, I'm talking too much about my old experiences with horror movies, but I vividly remember there was a kid in my class that I would talk to, and he was good at drawing, so I would tell him about all these horror movies and the ways that people killed people. This is all secondhand information. And he came in one day, and he said, uh, my mom says that Freddy Krueger is a very bad man, and I shouldn't draw him... <laughs> And I shouldn't talk to you. Oh my it. god, that so, bitch. Yeah. What a, what a pussy. Not him, the mother. Yeah, well. Like, I, I feel like good with the. Don't tell your friend so that. My, I'm sure that, like, I mentioned it before, but my when I was a kid, my parents was divorced, and I have a brother from my dad. We were, like, in good relationship, so we tried to schedule all their weekends at my dad together. And one weekend, my brother had uh, a sleepover party. I think they were like 11 or 12 or something. And my dad was like a cool hippie guy. So the, everyone loved him. So they did a sleepover party. And my dad obviously let them watch a horror movie. I think that they even watched with them. And I was four. It's not cool, Dad. Yes, it is. For your dad to watch a movie with you when you have all your friends over? Oh yeah, I'm saying that my dad was like their favorite part of the slavery. He was a cool musician, okay. so they really liked him. And maybe he didn't, but I asked my dad if I can stay with my older brother and watch the, the scary movie with them. I was four. I didn't understand, of course, everything. We watched the, the Blob. The Blob. The Blob. And I, the only thing that I remember is when I went to sleep from my bed, I imagined that it's coming from the, the blob is coming from the, the door. I really remember it as a trauma. I'm like, oh my God. And then I did it. That, and then my mom told me that like, I couldn't sleep for like a few weeks and she was really pissed at my dad. But then it made me stronger because horror movies became right away my favorite genre. So when I was 10, 11, in my sleepovers, I was the queen of horror movies. The scream queen. And yeah, so Jamie Lee Curtis, the star of Halloween, along with Donald Pleasance, I guess, and the person that plays Michael Myers, it became kind of a scream queen. She was in some other horror movies uh, after this, Prom Night, of course, uh, numerous Halloween sequels, so not all of them. Yes. Is he the same actor, all the movies, Michael Myers? Uh, I, I don't think that Michael Myers is played by the same actor. He's doing the new one, right? The same actor as the new one? I don't know. It yeah, doesn't so. really. I mean, it's a guy. It's a tall guy wearing a mask. Yeah. I mean, Freddy well, Krueger is screen. a little bit different for uh, Robert Englund is wearing yeah. makeup. This is a, a mask meant to look like... Uh, weird generic. By the way, mask. do you know do you know that the those how do you call the the thing that he's wearing? Coveralls. Coveralls. So they sell it right now and it's very popular and they think they're gonna buy one. Just wearing a full Yeah. Coverall? Yeah. Are you gonna do oil checks? Maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna Why are you gonna buy it? coveralls? Because they sell it in Brandy Melville and in American Apparel and both of them are my favorite stores, so So you wanna buy a uh, yeah, a they piece of clothing that you have to remove entirely? So you urinate. Uh, what do you think I'm doing with my uh, audio quality? Yeah, but with what body suits? Okay, but sometimes I don't. Did have you those just really suits. like the time that we almost went parachuting, and you wanted uh, to get a 
coveralls. I don't mind. Okay. Well, it's just like... Get yourself a, an old plastic William Shatner I prefer mask that because I prefer that because it's a little warmer and not the, the bodysuit and okay, the jacket and because then I need to take the jacket and then I need to take that and that's a mess. Alright, so if you see Yale in the future, she has a bodysuit on. But no mask. This is why. Well, yeah, a mask can really, you really you Let's know, go buy me block the wind suit, from you. Cover, cover all. <sighs> so. Wait, I had another question. Oh, oh okay. I, I had something I'll to say. Your question. I had something to say. Okay, I'll let you um, say it. So, my experience with Jamie Lee Curtis, because I was born in 1990, because I'm young and free, and I've never watched the old 70s horror movies, because. I don't yeah, know, okay. we didn't have that like, no trend. And I watched Freaky Friday. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know the movie. It was, it was the, the remake. Yeah. I just got free tickets. And I love that, I love the movie. And they give really you a fun. DVD of Halloween. No, 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 no. But it was like Jamie Lee Curtis, she was already like a grown up. She wasn't like young anymore. Uh, but she she played the mother, I think Lindsay Lohan was the daughter or something, but it was a really fun thing that I watched when I was like a teenager and I was like, oh, I wish that my mom would change with me and would understand what's going on it's through a, my life. It's a body switching movie. Yeah, yeah, okay. it was a good, so I, I heard that... We're going to recap that next week, so yes. tune in for the so <laughs> uh, I don't want to watch it again. The okay. songs are really fun. I do. And okay. you really want to watch it. Okay, we'll watch it. No, I and said <laughs> I do mind watching it again. Okay. So, uh, what? What? So I watched that and that was my favorite Jamie Lee Curtis experience. But then after that I was checking, I was like really obsessed with movies and like actors and stuff. So I checked and then I saw that she was like a horror movie queen that I never heard about the horror movies. Because in Israel we don't have Halloween. So we don't have a reason to watch a lot of horror movies in one day or something. I mean, Halloween isn't just when horror movies came out. The first Scream movie came out before Christmas. Oh, yeah, I know. So we watch it, but we don't have that, like, tra like uh, how do you call it? Like a tradition of, like, horror movies yeah. and stuff like that. It's not, like, a big thing. It was a big thing in my life, uh, but not in most people's life. People are like, oh, what, what are you talking about? What Scream? Yeah. So. And here, I, be I believe that, like, Halloween is pushing to do that because, like... Scary and stuff like that. We have one holiday of costumes. It's called Purim. Uh, you don't have to be scared. No one is decorating their houses with spider webs, and it's just like it's a good deed to drink a lot. So that's that's what the holiday is all about. Okay. Get dressed up and drink. All right. So that was our twenty-minute intro. Here's our movie recap. <laughs> so the movie starts. No. Uh, well, I, that's one thing that I didn't really remember about how the movie started. I knew that, okay, you see the the, ba the child, it's not a baby, he's probably like seven or eight years old. And he's six. He's six? Yeah, they said that in the, in the credits. Did you, did you okay. see? It says Michael Myers, six, Michael Myers, oh, okay. 23. Gotcha, at the end, yeah. And six is All his right. age. He's six in 1963, so he's born in 57, and... He, uh, it's his sister, I guess, making out on the couch. They go upstairs, and then uh, the, the guy leaves, like, a few minutes afterwards, so... Yeah, he's, he leaves, like, like a jerk, like... He's like, they're, like, making... You. Yeah, they're making out on the couch, and then she's like, let's move to the bed. So they're moving to the bed after, like, a couple of minutes, which is coming pretty fast, which is not good. If he just they left. had sex, maybe he, you know, had to go home and do his homework. So, oh my god, what's wrong with you? So Michael he might, goes up he there. might don't know how a penis should work. One thing that, uh, that the guy did when uh, they were making out was he picked up this uh, clown mask off the ground and he kind of laughed about it and put it on his face before they went upstairs and discarded it before they went to the bedroom. So it's Michael's mask because he's dressed up like a clown. So he takes it off and he puts it back on. And uh, he, he grabs a knife from the kitchen and enters into the room after the guy leaves and his sister Yeah, but the guy, the guy is leaving and he's like, she, she's like, call me tomorrow. And he's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. So he's, stop! Okay, so the guy leaves. Michael goes upstairs, 
through the point of view of the eye holes and the clown mask, surprises his sister. Is he like Michael? Topless. Yeah. She's more like, Michael, why are you coming in here while I'm trying to comb my hair with my boobs out? <laughs> and, and so he stabs her to death and then walks outside and his parents are pulling up and they say the same thing, Michael, and he's just standing there, catatonic look at his face with a knife in his hand. And then it's 15 years later, a uh, different part of Illinois. This is... Uh, Smith's Grove, Illinois. He wants you to know every detail. I feel like no those, are the two, the only t those are the only two details I wrote down because I, I wanted to look to see if they were real towns. I have a feeling that both of them are not. So he's, uh, there's a man driving. His name is Loomis, played by Donald Pleasance, with a, a nurse. And they're going to pick up a patient from the mental asylum who has been there for 15 years. He was now 21 years old, and he has not spoken a word in 15 years, but he's very dangerous, and Loomis, they have to go through the process of bringing him to see if he's fit to rejoin society, and he does not think that he <laughs> belongs he, to society. Yeah, he does not think that that's a good idea. And he's right! Well, they go there, and the, the, the nurse notices there's patients wandering around in the dark outside. It's a really creepy moment. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. That was like, oh my... That was like scary. That was like real scary for me. Yeah. So you know that something has gone wrong. Yeah. So, so the fence, they pull up to it and it's open and the nurse is like, shouldn't we just drive in? And he's like, just wait. And so he's looking at the, something at the fence and then... I like the way that he described him. That he's... he's Evil is like there's nothing behind that, those eyes besides like evil. Yeah. Like pure evil. He says he'll stare at a wall. He'll stare through the wall, beyond yeah. it. Yeah, and I thought like I've never watched it before. I wasn't sure exactly what like what's going on. I just knew that he's a killer, and there's Jamie Lee Curtis that uh, she just screams, and I didn't understand. I didn't had any idea what the story is. Must speak. What? You're bleeding. Uh, no, I'm not. Here, I'm gonna bring it's some. No blood. Stuff. I have no blood on my hands. He's stressed because I'm going to Israel and yeah. he's gonna be alone. Oh. All right. So. Keep anyway, soccer. so I I was like I didn't know what the deal. For me, like from what I could guess before we watched it, that he had like something with Jamie Lee Curtis, like before. That, like I don't know, like they're in school or there's something that she did to him or like. I don't know, because he's basically chasing her, all the movies. So I didn't realize what we're gonna watch. And apparently, no, it's just a creepo. Creepo? Creepo? Well, okay. I would... I Which is, ma it makes it like even more scarier, because... Yeah, why does this guy... Yeah, he's just like a to, guy that just... to the future. I mean, we're, we're getting past one important detail. Uh, when he's... When Donald Pleasance Loomis is looking over at the fence, a patient jumps on top of the nurse's car, which freaks her out, but then for some reason she rolls the window all the way down, and then he c puts his hand in and grabs her. She gets free, so he smashes the window on the other side, and uh, so she runs away, and then he climbs in and drives off. And then we figure that is Michael Myers. Loomis mentions that as well. And... Uh, now they're shit out of luck, they're at a mental institution in the rain, they have no car, so they need to figure something out. And then we learn, we go back to Haddonfield, 15 years later, 1979, Halloween, and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is leaving the... Uh, she yeah, it's already 15 years later though. Yeah. yeah. So she... No, from the mental thing. Well, the mental. Uh, it was a day later. Yeah, okay, but it's still 15 years later. Yeah, it's 15 years later. It's Halloween, 1979 now. And she works part-time at a real estate agency. So she goes over to, like, drop off keys for a place that they're going to be showing. And it's the old Myers house. It's where the this murder took place. And uh, so she puts the keys on the front door and doesn't notice that there's someone in there. And... 
Really, we're really gonna tell them all the story now? No, just send them, just send up the details though, because you just, I'm trying to get to a point without jumping too far ahead, because you said that he is just like a random guy that has no connection to her. And yeah, it's just like a neighbor, he just like murder people, he murdered his sister, it's fucking insane person. Yeah. And I'm scared of like mental illness more than I'm scared than ghosts and stuff like that, because mental people would kill people with no reason. Okay. That's why I'm. That's why I feel that like this movie is really scary, because Michael Myers can come to my window and just try to murder me tomorrow. Like hopefully yeah. not. I'm not gonna be here tomorrow, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. And good luck. We have a screwdriver in the bathroom. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> but I think that I I read a little bit about I I just looked up a random article about ranking the when? Ha Halloween films we this just morning. Just the movie. This morning before we watched the movie, and about ranking the, 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 the Halloween movies. There's 11 of them total what? in the franchise. No! It's not Halloween 1 through 11. There's the original one, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5. There are 5 of them, no? Or 6? There are 5. 5. Halloween 1 through 5. Okay. And then there's Halloween the remake, Halloween part 2 the remake. Oh, come on! Halloween Resurrection... Halloween H2O, which is 20 years after the original one that Jamie Lee Curtis is also in. Uh, I feel like there's one more, and there's the new one. So I'm missing one. I think it's just... Oh my god, Yeah, anyway, crazy. but, but uh, one of the criticisms of Halloween 2, which takes place immediately after Halloween 1 ends, and yeah, John so Carpenter, the director, didn't like it, is that... They make a connection to Michael Myers and Jamie Lee Curtis. Like he's not just a random guy. He oh, is. Really? He is for this film. Yeah, I forget. I, don't I like forget that. what it is, but um, I don't like that already. Yeah, it's, people can skip that. Yeah, it shouldn't. You know, it, it shouldn't be like it. Sometimes the randomness is the yeah. much more scary thing. So yeah, and it is scary. And it's cool that it happens. The like, music is fun. Yeah, right from the get go, because Michael Myers goes outside and he's standing there and he's wearing this white mask and the jumpsuit, and he's just stoic, standing in all these places. And so she keeps seeing him and not really. It's like her. She doesn't believe her eyes. You know, she's in class. She looks outside. She sees the stolen mental hospital transport. <laughs> uh, station wagon and he's standing there and then he's gone and but also it's like halloween so i would say it's like prank time of the year so yeah so but you like... don't see a lot of on halloween day you don't see a lot of people wearing costumes just walking around the streets really in, ha really. in every movie that takes place in halloween you always see kids trick-or-treating during the day as a kid that never happens it's like you wouldn't you'd wait until it got dark out to go trick-or-treating for the most part. Maybe the really little kids would start a little bit earlier, but... Um, Alright, we're on 30 minutes. But that's it. I mean, it starts off there, and then, like, the tension continues to mount. Michael Myers just keeps showing up different places. And if you haven't seen the movie, it's... Oh my god, watch a, it. It's a trailblazing archetype... Archetype... Blah, blah. This is the... We didn't find this movie on Amazon or... Oh yeah, another, another reason that we couldn't watch it on the month is that it's not on any of... Well, it, if you have... So there's a an all-horror channel subscription service, and you could watch it on that. I forget what it's called. It's called, like, Slasher or something. But, oh, um, I think it's... Like but you can rent it for $4 on Amazon, yeah. or you can buy it for 5 So I just bought it, so we can watch it again. You can, you're welcome to watch it on our... Yeah, I'll send you a password. Just uh, <laughs> just don't purchase anything with it. But, uh, yeah. So, it's great. The, mu the music is awesome. It helps yeah. set up the tension of the scenes. And good acting. Creative. Not over the top. Uh, killings. It's... it's uh, we don't have to tell you that Halloween is a good movie. It's been a proven classic, but... We just thought it'd be fun to, after exhausting ourselves for 31 days of recapping a movie every day. To watch another one. Take a little break. <laughs> don't take notes. Enjoy what is just a classic movie. and Yeah, it was fun. And, uh, and, and have, You're fun. have that to say. Talk a little about ourselves and 
horror movies that we uh, started out with and how we got into uh, why we're here now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being uh, a part of I it. I have something to say. You so say it. I will. I'm not asking you. Announce it. Announce what you have to say. So after a month of Halloween recap every day, which it was super hard, uh, it's not going to happen every day, but we're going to keep recap stuff because that's the whole idea. And if you have any ideas of things to recap for us, anything, anything, yeah. what do you want to recap? Not your podcast. We've had some ones like, I thought it would be funny if you recap my podcast. No, it wouldn't be funny. But we'll, uh, we'll review it if you review ours on iTunes. Yeah, we will. Well, I mean, all right, so my, I think we've talked a little about this off air, but my suggestions for some of the stuff to recap, of course, we'll start with uh, some of the original versions of the horror movies that we've watched already, maybe one or two sequels, uh, classic movies that a lot of people have seen that I or you probably have never seen. Probably? Excuse me? Yeah, well, I'm saying there's a lot of American movies from the 80s and 90s. You weren't here for these. So I, did, I didn't watch The them. Rain Man. Okay, Rain Man, not The Rain Man. The Rain Man. I just said Rain Man, not Rain the Man. Rain, uh, Man. Rain Man. I didn't watch Rain Man. Yeah. Okay. That's well, it. I just... Okay. Well, that's a good one. I've seen it, but... Uh, yeah, I know. Everyone watched probably it. Only, in probably only in parts on TV. You know, there's a lot of movies that you just start watching from the middle of it because it's on and there's no rewinding feature. There's no DVR. So I thought doing that, perhaps uh, superhero movies, early ones. Yeah, he's ones. geek. Uh, yes. I do a podcast called The Quantum Zone on the Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network where we talk about Quasar comic books. No one knows that character. That's why I'm passing it on now. If you, uh, hey, if you were reading comic books in the late 80s, early 90s, you probably know him. And he's been back a little bit since. And she, he turned into a she, too. is a different person. Oh, my God. But, um... Are you gay? No. no. Oh, oh, yeah. Are you going to turn into a she? No, we could recap superhero movies. Oh, how about this one? Gay pornography. We could just watch entire gay porns and, and recap it. And then uh, as a bonus, bisexual all-male pornography. Like, they're guys having sex with each other, but they also like girls, but they're not on screen. Are you gay? <laughs> what are you telling me now? I'm scared. All right, so that's about it, and that's my man. Leave your uh, leave your reviews. Subscribe. Leave a suggestion. Stay with us. And uh, yeah, I love you all. I love you too. That goes for the guys only. All right, follow us. Yell Matt recap. Take your shirt off, baby. All right. Bye. Bye.